Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice problem reversing the home rules. So first, let us understand the question using the example and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically, in this question, we would be given a string. Let's take practice. And remember, the string would be in lowercase. Okay. Now, let's just highlight the vowels over here. One, two, three. Right. So, I have three vowels. Now, basically, in this, I would start from the start of the string. And whenever I come across a vowel, okay, I need to reverse the vowel. By reversing the vowel, I mean that I need to change it with another vowel, okay, from the end. So, basically, A would be changed into E. Then I would again move forward and when I come across I, see, I remains I, right? Correct? There is no pair for it. So, I would remain I. Then finally, I would reach E, okay? And the reverse of E would be A. So, E would change to A. So, my final output would be P R E C T I C E. Okay? So, this would be my output after reversing the words. So, I hope you guys are clear with what we are trying to do in this question. And now, we will solve it. So, let's start. So, guys, first you need to go to the practice portal. Okay? In practice portal, you need to scroll down in filters. And in difficulty, you need to choose school. Then you need to find the problem reversing the vowels. Okay. Once you find it, you need to click on solve. Okay. So let's start. First, let us read the statement. Given a string consisting of lowercase English alphabets, reverse only the vowels present in it and print the resulting string. Okay. So I hope the question is clear and we would start the code from here. Okay. So let's start. One more. So let's start. Okay. So I would be using various variables, right? Because I even need to reverse the vowels. Okay. So let's start. First variable is vowels. I would declare all the vowels. So that would be A E I. Remember, it is in lowercase. So one minute. Let me just write it properly. See oops. Okay. Next, I would declare the first variable that is an empty string. Then I would declare a variable j that is, you know, a constant integer 0. Then y, again, an empty string. Okay. So, I hope you guys are clear with this. Next part is, I would start a for loop for the string. Okay. Then next, I would check if vowels are present or not. Because whenever I come across a vowel, the string would reverse. Right. Vowels dot count i. Okay. Next is I would add it in the string. Whenever I come across a vowel, I would add it in the string x. Okay. So that would be string i and that would be added in x. Okay. Next part is that else. If I am not coming across a vowel, I would just continue with my string. Okay. Next. This is the first loop. Now I would add another loop. Okay. For i in s. Okay. Now this loop if vowels count i. Okay. This is for the ones that I am doing in the start. Let's start again. Now this time I would do this for y. Okay. Now I am you know linking x and y together. x is the string that contains the vowels, right? When we were first traversing the string, right? Now I need to do the swapping. So let's do it. Y plus equal to X and then J, right? Now next part would be J plus equal to 1. Because now I need to start the loop again, right? Because I am reversing everything. Now let's go back. Else. Next would be Y plus equal to i. If I don't come across a vowel, I can just continue with my string, right? Now, last would be return with y, okay? Because y is the answer. Now, to check if it is correct or not, I will click on compile. So, we did say 
so let's see if it's matching or not so my output is matching with the expected output so now i would click on submit let's wait okay my problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem reversing the box i hope this video was helpful for you and you guys have enjoyed the session if you guys have enjoyed the session make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me thank you